curbing the surge at the U.S. southern border. President Biden this week proposed new immigration rules that some critics argue look a lot like an old policy from the Trump administration. It would forbid some migrants from seeking asylum in the U.S. if they cross the border illegally or fail to first apply for safe harbor in one of the countries they pass through en route to the border. The new policy is set to go into effect May 11th when Title 42 ends. That was the pandemic era health rule federal officials say enabled them to expel some 2 million migrants since March 2020 due to COVID risks. Immigration policy has been a hot button issue in New Jersey, too, where just one immigration detention center remains, housing 116 migrants. And this week, that prison announced it's suing the state attorney general and Murphy administration over a recent law banning anyone from contracting with U.S. Customs and Immigration Enforcement. Raven Santana reports. Really, the stories that come back from volunteers and from released um, people who were formerly detained who have been released is just that detention is utter misery. I mean, there is the, the Elizabeth Detention Center, for example, is a converted warehouse. There aren't really any windows. Um, people don't get sunlight. Harsh and inhumane. That's how former detainees have described their time at the Elizabeth Detention Center, says Katie Sastre. Sastre is interim executive director at First Friends of New Jersey and New York a nonprofit that helps immigrants whose lives have been impacted by the U.S. immigration and enforcement system, also known as ICE. It's important to keep in mind these are civil immigration issues. Um, these are not questions of criminality. Um, that's something that's ham handled by our criminal legal system. This is when ICE is going out and arresting and raiding people over paperwork. The Elizabeth Detention Center is the last remaining facility in New Jersey that houses immigration detainees for ICE. Its current contract expires at the end of August, and because of a state law Governor Murphy signed in 2021, they'd be banned from extending or renewing that contract. Now the private company that owns a detention center is fighting the law in court. Core Civic says it stands to lose $18 million because of the law. But Amy Torres points out that's just a fraction of the company's profits. Core Civic, which is the largest private prison corporation in the world, is filing lawsuit to challenge the constitutionality of New Jersey's detention ban. Core Civic, at the same year that the ICE detention bill was passed, generated revenues of $1.9 billion dollars. According to a court filing, the attorney for Core Civic argues the state law interferes with federal law that allows for enforcement of federal immigration law within the state of New Jersey, saying AB 5207 undermines and eliminates the congressionally funded and approved enforcement of federal immigration law by U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement within the state of New Jersey, going on to say this court should therefore declare that AB 5207 is unconstitutional and and or preempt by federal law and enter a preliminary and permanent injunction restraining defendants from enforcing the statute against core civic. This morning, immigration advocates held a vigil in Jersey City for those who have died during their time at the Elizabeth Detention Center. The lawsuit with ICE, it said, you know, this was promised that they're not going to do this, that they're going to be different. The Biden administration is going to be different than Trump. And it's the same thing. And advocates I spoke with here say big corporations like Core Civic shouldn't be able to bend and break the rules simply because they can't profit from them. For um, almost 30 years now, um, and for 30 years, people inside have been organizing about the horrible, det horrible conditions there, um, the inhumane treatment, the abuse, physical, emotional, sexual abuse that they face at the hands of the guards. Um, and we've all been working with them to try to shut that place down for 30 years. We're coming very close. I'm not really sure that the core civic suit is likely to uh, succeed. Attorney Alan Pollack has been practicing immigration law for 28 years. He was a chair of the immigration law section of the New Jersey State Bar Association in 2021 when the bill passed. However, he's opposed to the law ending ICE detention in New Jersey because it would mean people would get sent all over the country away from their families and their attorneys. This is a big business. Um, and so, you know, what happens is, is the, they want to make more money, um, you know, which, which comes to another point, which people don't talk about a lot, is, you know, you shut down the facilities here. The other end result is that other, maybe even larger facilities open in these 
very remote locations. So shutting down a facility doesn't change the statute or the law or its enforcement to some, any great degree. Governor Murphy has said he stands by his support of the law to end all ICE contracts in the state. Advocates say if CoreCivic wins the lawsuit, the company will in turn completely invalidate the law and other counties can contract with ICE. For NJ Spotlight News, I'm Raven Santana.